So we're going to show you how to add a, a new business object column to a table. Okay, so we have a table over here um, that is based on something we defined from the business object called travel request. So if we actually go to the travel request object and we add a new field here, let's call it a discount. Okay, and it can be, let's say, number, and we can even go and add a few values in some of the um, records. So for example, let's say over here, we'll say discount is 10%, like that. All right, so now we want to show it in our UI in this page. Now if we go to the um, application over here and we look at the data that this table is based on, it's coming from a variable, okay, which is the data provider. So we would want to go over to the variable and the data provider. So this is the data provider. And if you scroll all the way to the down, you'll see that it's based, it's returning a response of type get all travel request response, okay? So this type would be defined over here at the flow level. Right? So if you go into flow and variable and type, you would see the get all response type. Okay, and over here you'll see we have the items that are being returned. What you want to do is, since you added a new column, you would want to add it here. Okay, and um, it should match the name of the column that you inserted, so we'll call it discount. And we said this would be a number. Okay, so now we have the new type defined and the variable is based on this so if we go back to our main page okay and to the ui component we would now have this information available for us in the service data provider but we also need to have a column for that right so if we switch to the code view okay we can see the columns defined over here and we would want to add one more field. So copy this part. Oops, that defines a column. And paste it over here and add the comma. And now we just need to change this one. So this would be, instead of traveler, it would be discount. And the field would be discount. Okay, now let's go back to our visual view and we have a discount field here with the 10 percent in there and that's how you add a new field after you change your business object